Alright, what's up guys? I'm back with another YouTube video for you, so please like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, the reason I'm making another video is because I saw a lot of problems in this game that I think are really easy to fix. You just gotta like, I, I think I just gotta point them out and you can just fix them, you know, like without really thinking too hard about it. So hopefully, uh, this will be helpful. Now I'm gonna pick on Matt a little bit, but you know, it's not just Matt. Everybody does this a little bit. Or, or a lot in some cases. So, you know, I'm, this, this is advice that should be useful to everyone. So even if I pick on Matt, this is, this is for everybody, all right? Uh, the silencer, by the way, very quick, I want to point out. Came to lane with no items, rushed the bottle. Very fun. Um, all right, so look at this. Uh, I, I don't care about the rune fight. The rune fight was whatever. But now, uh, our creeps meet up here, right? They're like right, they're right here. And the reason they're here is because Matt was over here fighting for the rune, and the Zeus was, you know, back there blocking like over here where he should be which I always yell at like Richard to do and you know I don't know if this patch is worth fighting for bounties it might be it might not be but you know if, if you end up in this situation where the creeps are here on the enemy high ground right your or yeah the enemy creeps right here if they're not like in the river or preferably like on your high ground you can't do what Matt does here. you can't do this you can't just like stay on the low ground here and like try and last hit okay like yeah he rests the Zeus a bit which is good he's gonna try and go for this last hit like it's not gonna get it. For a start, it was just too far away, but like, it's, it's just, you're making it hard for no reason, all right? So like, the reason why it's bad, there's, there's two main reasons. One, it's it's first of all, just more difficult to last hit from further away, generally, because you got, you know, your arrow travels further, it takes longer to get there, versus like, if you're standing in melee range and you just click him from melee range, you can do it a lot more precisely. Uh, well, you don't have to be melee range, but like closer, right? And then the other thing is the 25% uphill miss. That it's just, um, 25% of the last hits that you should get, you're just gonna miss. Or, if, you know, if you're me, you're just gonna miss all of them because you're gonna miss uphill, okay? So, what you wanna do when you're in this scenario, like if we back up just a little bit. Go here. All right, so what you wanna do right here, you see this, right? What you do is you go up here, right, right here. You click the Zeus, you right click him, not with searing arrows. Right, you don't use here. Use mm -hmm. normal right click. Um, let me mute this real quick. There we go. You click. You right click him, and then oh yeah, you right click him, and then you back up. You back up to here. These three creeps are gonna aggro onto you. They're gonna chase you, right? And then they're gonna hit this guy. Okay, and then you can last hit them safely from over here. Or, you know, closer if the Zeus stays further back. And you don't get the 25% uphill miss chance. You know, these creeps, these three are going to be hitting this guy. So, like, Zeus has to deal with them. He can't harass you. So, like, that's what you want. That's what you want. It's much easier. So, you know, abuse creep back rope, pull these guys back, farm them over here. You can do this all the time. It's not like, oh, I should never do this other than, like, some weird, awkward... No, you should do this for, like, every last hit that's, like, up here. Every single one. If you have to pull each creep individually, you know, that's what pro players do. If you watch them, they'll find the low health creep like this guy, and they'll just, you know, be right on the edge of aggro range, and they'll pull him back by himself, and then they'll last hit him. You don't have to do that. You're not a fucking pro player. I'm not a pro player. Just pull all three of them, go back with them, okay? So that's number one. But one of the other things I wanted to talk about real quick, you should queue up your items, right? The items you want to buy. Queue them up right here. Okay, Matt doesn't have anything queued up. Uh, if we look at, like, yeah, look at this guy. Terrorblade, he's got two Wraith Vans queued up. Pudge here, he's got like all this shit queued up. If you go to like, if you go to my game, uh, let's just go to the most recent game. Over here. Okay, yeah, here you go. Look at my items, right? I have everything I think I might need queued up. I am like, I mean, what, what if I need more regen? I'll put some tangos here. What if I need more mana regen? I'll put this stuff here. I'm gonna get a stick, I'll put a stick here. I'll put boots here. This doesn't mean I'm gonna buy all of them, right? I'm, I don't think I end up buying the the wall, the stick or like this, I don't know. Some of the stuff I didn't buy. But the point is it's all here. So that like, if I feel I need this, I'll buy it. If I feel I need that, I'll buy it. Uh, it saves me from having to, you know, stop and open the shop and maybe miss a last hit while I'm busy like fucking with this stuff. Instead, of, they're just all here. I could just click on them. So what I'd want to see queued up for Matt here, uh, based on this item build, is like two Wraith Bands right here, a stick, uh, maybe a, wand, a full wand even, a uh, bottle potentially, uh, not fairy fire, uh, raindrops, uh, you know, 
It may be a salve as well, because you're against Zeus, you're going to be taking a lot of damage. So like a salve, also just stick that right there. You know, you don't have to buy it if you don't want it, but it's, if you feel you need it, you can just really quickly bop, send it over with the courier, done. Okay. So now we get the creeps in a good spot, okay? And Matt, you're playing like really, really far back. Okay, you don't need to play this far back. I understand like Zeus does a lot of damage, I don't want to get harassed, blah blah blah. But like he doesn't have his W yet. This is where like most of his damage comes from. The W the Q, I mean, if you notice, it's really hard to like not get hit by it. Cause like it just bounces, right? Like you have to be like back here to not get hit by it. So you kinda just have to accept that you're gonna take a lot of harass damage just for free, just because that's how Zeus is. So like you know, you don't need to play this far back. See, like, you took the damage anyway. Playing that far back doesn't help you. Uh, not until he gets his W, at least, which is, like, level 4 is where that starts to matter. Because the W with one point in it still isn't that big of a deal, right? It's, was it 125 damage? Not that much. But, like, this is good. See what's happening here? This is good. Okay, that's good. Again, I would love the stick, but, you know, whatever. I guess you forgot it. That's fine. Um... You should have already eaten one of your tangos at this point, just like really cheeky. Munched a tree earlier, so just let the regen work faster. But like, okay, look at this. You have 460 gold, so you're sitting here doing nothing. You could have already bought like a full wraith band, maybe a stick, and just sent it, right? And it would be helping you for the next couple of minutes. You don't need to wait until you have like a thousand gold. Let's see how high your gold goes before you spend it. Six, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, okay. He's like, here's Matt using the shop. He's like in the back, just like not doing anything. Just like, oh, I gotta buy items. Okay, he buys this. He's like, all right, let me get these. Back up again, shop, right? Isn't it much easier if you just, instead of doing all that, you just, you have all these items here. You just go bop, 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 bop. And then you press your courier button like that, and then it comes, right? Like you don't have to like waste time. You could be like clicking on the Zeus this whole time, etc. All right, so that's another thing. Now again, I don't know why you're playing so scared when you're on full health and you have your ult now. You, you got a lot of health. Why are you so scared? Why don't you just take over the lane? Why don't you kick him out? Why don't you say, oh, dude, you have no mana. You know, if you want to nuke me, then nuke me. I'll tank the damage. I'll do more damage to you. You know, I got strafe as well, right? You got strafe. You could just fucking man up on him. Just, just chill here. Just chill here. This double damage is a, is a replay bug, by the way. He doesn't have a double damage. Just chill here and fucking smack him. Don't let him walk up like for free like this see this this should not be happening this it, it, the, this whole sequence of events where he like just walked up here casually kick, clicked two creeps and then cast a nuke and you're just in the, in the back watching like why hit him hit him be here tank some damage it's fine you're full health and you can always send yourself a salve if you need it you know it's worth it if you're if you're denying him all those resources It's like you're not engaging with the lane when, you, when you're so much stronger than he is. You're just letting him get free damage on you by just walking up, casting Q, and you're like, oh, I tanked a bit of damage, uh, tanked a bit of damage. You have a fairy fire, or uh, a raindrop, dude, use it. And the fairy fire too, in fact. Now he has the DD, okay, now it's a bit more dangerous, but okay, it ran out, now you can do it again. See that? If you'd like harassed him just a little bit before that, two hits maybe, that would have been a kill. See, now we've reached the point where Zeus is strong, right? When he has the nuke fully maxed out and he has his ulti, this is when he's stronger than you. This is when he can kick you out of lane. And he's actually doing it. He's not just sitting back. He's like running up nuking you and you can't really deal with it that well. <clears throat> it's because you didn't pressure him earlier. It's because you let him get away with way more than he should have been able to get away with. It's like, yeah, Zeus does a lot of damage, but it, that doesn't mean you just leave him alone. It doesn't mean you're just like, ah, oh, I can never go near him because he just does more damage than me. I mean, this clarity was, uh, ooh, don't know about it. You're gonna miss this whole wave because you're scared of getting your clarity canceled. And again, you could have cleared the wave and then walked there to, like, do, do this gank. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Good shit. Terrorblade TP's in? Nice. Okay, no, that's fine. And then I think you guys dive him. 
Oh no, he just leaves. Okay, no, this is not good. This, this right here, very, very bad, okay? Let me explain something. When the opposing mid is not here, right? The Zeus, or whoever it is. When he's not in the lane and you're in the lane, your objective is to push as fucking fast as you can. Just push this wave as hard as you can, okay? Why? Because what you want to do is you want to get your creeps, these guys, under tower range, okay? And you get two things out of this. Number one, you might get some chip damage on the tower. You got a catapult, right? You get a bit of extra damage. That's great. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is that all these creeps here, if they're under the tower, they die really, really fast to the tower. And basically, you've denied them all to him. He doesn't have time to like come back and get the golden experience from them because the tower killed them all before he got there, right? Since you're not like aggressively clearing these, you're giving him more time to do whatever the fuck he's doing and then come back. And you're also missing out on like totally free tower damage. So right here, you, you got it. Like just fucking hit this guy. Hit him. Hit him. Don't run away. Hit him. Nobody here. Fucking smack the guy. You know this guy. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Push. Push. Push faster. Push. Ah, see, you can't just last it. You gotta be a. No, don't deny. <laughs> no, don't deny. You want to do tower damage. Go. Push. Push. Get these creeps under the tower. These creeps. These creeps. Need to be fucking under this tower. This Zeus, he's up here top, wasting time. He's not. You're not punishing him for it. You need to punish him for not being in this lane. If he's ganking, he's killing all your team. Let's say. I don't know if he was he actually killing people. I don't know. It doesn't matter. If even if he kills like let's say two people on your team, if you're getting all this in exchange, it kind of evens out. Not exactly, you know. But if he goes and he doesn't kill anyone, you're ahead. So you, no matter what, you gotta be pushing this aggressively whenever he's not here. Okay, you have to, you have to. Like, this whole wave, this whole wave here, could just be gone. It could have been killed by the tower before the silencer had time to get here. Now he gets all these creeps, like, golden experience, right? And now the Zeus comes too. And he's gonna get some of this. He could have gotten absolutely not. The silencer is very nice. He's, like, clearing them before the Zeus gets there. Good for you. But regardless, you, did, you, you had a chance to, like, punish him for roaming, and you just didn't take it. Okay? Deny him all, like, deny him a full wave. Why not? Let the tower take it all. Tower doesn't scale. Okay, here we go, another gank. Good shit. Okay, wait, uh, guess what I'm gonna say. Where the fuck are you going? Clear the wave. I know you want the DD. DD is not going anywhere, okay? It's not. It, it's, it clear these, then pick up the DD. Like, who's, you think the terror blade is gonna like walk all the way here, pick it up and walk back? I don't think so. Okay, that's good. No, no, where are you going? Please, just hit them. Just hit, look, he's respawning. He's 10 seconds. He's 10 seconds. This could be under the tower. They could be dead. Uh, push them harder. Yes. All right, so let's do like a quick comparison. All right, so this is me playing Drow Mid, right? Very similar to Klinks. She has like the same sort of thing with Frost Arrows that Klinks has with Searing Arrows. So it's a good it's a good comparison. I don't really play Klinks, so I have a Klinks game to show you. But it's close enough. So I block, and like in this case, uh, we got the runes. Like, I, I don't really do shit as a drow at the runes. I didn't really go for them. So I went to block, and the creeps end up here, which is good. Right, good for me right here. Um, I would have liked it to be maybe, like, a step back, like, on on the higher ground right here. But, you know, on the stairs, still not bad. We'll take it. So because they're here, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to, like, pull them back like I was talking to Matt about because they're already where I want them to be, right? So I'm, I'm happy right here. I get some nice, easy last hits. Some, uh, I don't really get... I don't do great on the denies because uh, my drow is not very good. But, <laughs> you know, in theory, you get some nice easy denies as well. Um, but I do get the last hits at least, so that's good. So now, uh, you know, wh what's what's changed in our lane right here? Let's, let's back it up a little bit. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, this is where it starts out pretty normal, whatever, whatever. All right, what's going on here? Right, right here. His range creep is dead. I got it. You know, very nice. But now I have two range creeps, right? So what does that mean? That means that the lane, because we have two to his one range creep, it's going to push into him, right? It's very obvious. You can, I mean, you just look at your range creeps or just your, your creep wave in general. You know, whoever has the bigger creep, creep wave, it's going to push, right? Very simple, very easy. So uh, let's see. Yep. 
sure enough, it starts pushing, and, you know, I know that's going to happen, because, again, it's obvious. So what do I do about it? I go up close, right? I hit him, and then I back up. And I didn't use frost arrows. I used, like, a normal right click. Okay, I brought his creeps right here to my range creeps. All right, so look what's going to happen here, right? Right now, I pulled his creeps back to hit my range creeps, and he's got his range creep here being hit by two of my creeps, right? And I want this last hit, because again, range creep, last hit's the most important ones, blah, 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 you know about that. So I'm like, I want it. I'm not interested in this right now, I'm interested in this. So I go up, I hit it with a right click, and then immediately at the same time, I throw my E. So I do like a big burst of damage to secure this last hit, right? He can't, or it's very difficult for him to do like one regular right click in between like my auto attack plus a skill at the same time. So this, this works for a lot of heroes, right? If you're like a uh, Lena, right? You throw a right click and you throw your Q. If you're, um, uh, I don't know what the fuck mid do you guys play that has an actual nuke. Um, Quop, right? If you're Quop, you throw a right click and E at the same time, something like that. Uh, any hero who has a nuke, you just right click, throw your nuke, secure the range creep if it's like contested the way this is. Because like if I just try to fight him for it regularly, he has like a an advantage to get it to get this denied because he's on the high ground, he's much closer, I'm much further away, blah, blah, blah. So I use my mana to secure it, okay? Good shit. And look what happens as a consequence of this, right? These two creeps, what do you think they're going to do, right? Range creep dies. Oh, guess what? They're going to hit him because there's fucking nothing else close by, right? Now, he's going to kill that one because it's super low, obviously. But he's still got this one and it's full health, right? You can't just sit there and right-click like mad fight a creep at level 2. You lose a lot of health. So he just kind of awkwardly runs around and he, like, I see this, right? And I'm like, oh, he's got a creep chasing him. That's cool. He can't really fight me right now, can he? Because, you know, like, if we fight and he has a creep hitting him, I don't have a creep hitting me because, you know, I'm drow, I have frost arrows. You know, guess who's going to win that fight? It's me. And I know. So, I like, I run at him. I just run. Fuck it. I run up here. I'm like, get him. Fuck this guy up. Right? I don't stand in the back here being like, oh, I got to get the last hit. No. I have lane. Pr I can like put pressure on this guy just by walking forward. I didn't click on on him at all. I didn't. I just walked forward. All I did well, was fucking move this way, and now he's all the way here. And look at look where the creeps are. They're so far. We can't do shit. He's getting no experience from these when they die, and I have like completely uncontested farm. So I just I just you know free last hit. There you go. You know he's here under his tower. Like, these little, like, I know that seems like a very little, like, a very small thing, but, like, this sort of thing is happening constantly throughout the laning phase, and it adds up very quickly. All right, once again, guess what? Rage creeps, right? Gonna get this denier, hopefully, hopefully. Yes? What am I, what do you think I'm gonna do for this? Uh, there you go. And I hit him for some bonus damage. Very nice. Notice that this is the the uh, the kind of scenario that Matt was in, right? He was at level one on the first wave. For me, it's level two on like whatever wave this is, third, fourth wave, whatever, right? Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm, am I gonna like sit here like Matt did and try to right click uphill to get these last hits? No, look, look what I do up. Oh, went right clicked on the silencer, pulled them back. Now I can farm them here. Very nice, and I missed that one. That's terrible. I would make fun of Matt for missing that one, but you know the concept is good. Right? Get a free deny. Now I got these two creeps hitting me. But, like, I'm not too worried about it. I want the range creep, and now I can back up and you know, pull these creeps back from whatever. I'm willing to take that damage to, like, secure the range creep. And then we're, oh, we're back here. We're back where we want to be. Perfect, you know? No need to do anything anymore. Now we just last hit. We're chilling. We're very happy. But, yeah, this silencer, if he was if he was good, if he knew what he was doing, he'd do what I was doing, right? He'd, like, right here, instead of going for this rune, because he's, like, full... Yeah, he's got two tangles, like basically full health, full mana. Instead of going for this, he just walk up here, right-click me, and pull these creeps back. He doesn't do it, because he's not that good. So, you know, lane just goes really well for me. And, uh, you know, if he went and, if he tried to do it against me, I'd be clicking on him the whole time. Uh, he didn't click me at all when I was doing it. So, like, if you have, if you guys ever wonder how, like, you know, 30 seconds, maybe four, uh, one minute into a match, I'm like, oh, the guy I'm playing against isn't good. And you're like, oh, how do you know? This is how I know, because I see stuff like this. And it's just like he's not doing what he should be doing. So I don't even know what guy what this guy's rank is, actually. Let's check. Yeah, Archon 1. Not that good. <clears throat> uh, 
I don't know why this guy is going for the two runes. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, he denies it, but it's like, do I need it? I'm full health, full mana, two tangos. Like, I'm, am I going to be going over here anytime soon? Not really. So, like, why, why waste your time, you know? Oh, guess what? Yep, same thing again. Oh, and look, same thing again. He's got a creep hitting him, and now we can man fight. This is exactly what I said before, remember? Like, if he tries to fight me with one of my creeps hitting him, and, you know, no creeps hitting me because I have frost arrows, it, uh, he can't win. He just can't. You'll have to do better than that. So he just took a lot of damage, basically, for free. Like, he, he did a little bit of damage to me, but I did, like, double the damage to him that he did to me. So like, every, I'm just winning every trade. This is what I mean. Like, if you win one trade, it's like nice. But if you're winning like three, four, five trades, it adds up very quickly. Uh, here he had like a little bit of a better situation than I had, just because he was on high ground. But you know, whatever, no big deal. Get my last hit, get a bit of chip damage on him. If he was good, right? He would like right here. This is this is what you got to think about when you're playing mid, right? The hero you're up against. Like, what do they want to do? How do they play their lane? What is their like? <clears throat> what is their strategy for securing last hits, right? For some heroes, like Clinks, it's just, they just click on the creeps and that's all they really do. And you know, I have to think about this. But for someone else, like a Drow or like a Death Prophet, anyone with like a nuke, you see this and you're like, oh, this guy is going to want this last hit. He is probably, in all likelihood, going to throw his nuke here, right? And <clears throat> Drow's nuke is kind of like a cone like this. So it's like, just, just stand here, you know? Stand right here. Or like maybe a bit closer, like here or something. And then you can like try and hit from this direction. He doesn't... He doesn't like counter me at all. He doesn't play against me. He just stands right here. It's like, oh, cool. I can try and stop this. But um, because he doesn't like play against me, I can just hit him for free. Saying like, oh, yeah, I throw my E. There you go. Right? This is the this is like the range of my E. Like this. He could be standing anywhere here, anywhere here, right? And then I can't or like I can't clip him for this free damage when I'm going for the range creep because I'm gonna go for the range creep. So if you're ever playing against a Drow, against a Quap, uh, not a Quap, uh, Death Prophet, Lina, any one of these heroes with like the AOE nuke kind of shit, this is this is what you look for, okay? And if they're not using their nuke to secure range creeps, uh, then hey, you get some easy denies, right? Because like I mean, look where it is, right? It's like here, much easier for you to deny than for me to last hit normally with right clicks. Anytime I see that silencer trying to walk up, I just run at him. I don't even have to click on him, right? I just run up to him. You'll see it. Well, right now I have some, you know, two last hits I want to go for. So you won't see it right now, but now you'll see it. There you go. See, just run at him. You don't have to do shit. You just, you just, you can click on him, or you can just run at him. If he runs away, great. If he doesn't run away, hit him. And again, pull the creeps back to the high ground. Last them up here. Um. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Um. The, again, these aren't like super complex, crazy ideas. This is like pretty simple stuff. Uh, just dragging the creep backs, not fighting on the enemy high ground, using your spells to get uh, range creep last hits when applicable. It, it's pretty basic, but it helps a lot. One other thing, which I didn't really talk about here because uh, neither I nor Matt built models in our games, but if we build models, um, you also want to hard push the lane uh, right before the runes here spawn if you, if you can so like two minutes maybe not two minutes it's a bit too early but for the uh, four minute rune when you have like say level two or three whatever your nuke is uh at like 3 30 right around now you would push this lane super hard i'd be like if i had a nuke i'd like nuke this shit push it in right away you know use up all the charges that i have in my bottle already just to like push 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 get the wave like ideally right here and like into pushing into his tower and then I can go get the runes, and I don't miss anything because he's busy fighting under his tower, right? Doesn't apply to this game because I got no bottle, so I didn't do it. But in in a game where I had a bottle, that's what I would do. This is some uh, some interesting play right here as well. I don't know what this is. Okay. Okay. All right. Is this gonna work? No. Yeah, I don't. I'm. I don't know what the plan was there. That was, you know, that was definitely something. 